Hey, you guys, Torpedo on the most targeted citizen. I would like to say the complaint's coming over for the first time right now. But, as always, this morning, it makes it comes in the living room. We'll watch a little TV, spend a little good time together. Comes in there, and as soon as I get up, get ready to get up and roll off the couch, the plane comes directly over the house. As you hear him making his loop, salt air leasing. Is this the one with the purple underneath? The purple one's not as loud as the one. Yeah, I think it's the one with the purple underneath, or it's got the white, t the white plane with the blue tips. Here it comes. See, right there, directly over my house. Yep, what I tell you, the blue tips on the wings. How did I know that? Directly over my house. Why? Because we just came outside. What are we doing today, guys? If you've been following my channel for any time, you know that we're cramped here. There's not much room for us. And I know my local officials don't like all the junk that I have. But we are making progress. We got a lot. Did we get a lot done yesterday? A lot done yesterday. And I'm going to show you here in a minute. A lot of people out there don't care, but some people do. <sighs> Let me just stand back and do it. One thing, we got the building cleared off. Uh, I've got this completed. Got my, my generator completed. I just got to get it running today and decide what I'm going to do. I looked on the prices to convert that over. I can't find the exact model number for mine because it's an old one. So I don't know if they've got a conversion kit for it, but... The average I've seen on Amazon was 40 bucks for the conversion kit to go to LP. The other ones from the Generac place itself are $169. That makes no sense to convert that to LT, LP for $169 and when I can buy an LP generator for 200 bucks online. So we'll see what happens. With it. But this is the big deal. This is the big story of the day. We got busy yesterday. We got busy. Uh, this is what I had laying up. My dad gave this to me a long time ago. We had that laying up against the house there. And you guys were with us when we met me and Mason hauled a trampoline off a couple months. What? Last year we hauled off a trampoline? Yeah. We brought a free trampoline home. We used the legs off the trampoline. Well, I love a welder. Don't you love welding? what I tell you, Mason, about a welder? You can do anything with a welder. You can make anything you want with a welder. Anyway, we made this bench that we needed. I'm going to keep my Harley dry. Plus, more room for activities. Uh, anybody wants to steal this stuff? It's just old tools. None of these are name brand. So if you have to steal it, okay, I'd rather you not, but it's just junk tools. We don't ever throw away junk tools, do we, son? Yep. All the good tools are in the house. So, got all these done, so now we got triplicates of everything. Mason, th this means that Mason's going to lose even more tools now. No comment. Anyway, so as you can see, we made that bench. I cut the hood up from that old Bronco and completed putting the top on this bench here. Um, got this toolbox off the back porch. So now we've got all of our weldings, all our weld materials out here. Uh, and we've got this big toolbox set up. Everything is ready. Now we have a comfortable working environment. Now we may be able to get something done without looking all day for stuff. Uh, right now, I'm taking all my fasteners for the houseboat and transferring them over. Mason, will you put all those fasteners in here, please? But it's nice to have a workbench. Um, these tools, take all these out and set them to the side, and we'll we'll find some place to put them. We may just throw them in the bottom of this toolbox here. But uh, we'll keep all the fasteners in that one box. That way, when we're ready to go to the lake and start building, we can do that. Um, also, let me show you. We did the rust repair on the jet ski trailer yesterday. Now it did rain last night and it started new rust, but it killed all the old rust. It it just killed all the old rust. So we're in good shape there. Now we got to spray it again to get the the new rust from last night's rain. Uh, got to get it off there. But we got all that cleaned up. All their nuts and bolts is cleaned up. All the rust is off now. It is now a rust-free trailer. Uh, I've got the. I've got lights out of this camper, some new lights that we can run on here to put on there. Uh, yesterday, we did, in fact, go and get our jet ski tires pumped up. This one was this one pumped up easily. This is the one that wasn't on the beach. We hit it, had to hit it with the Super Air Jack, the one that shoots air in it real fast and quick, and it was still leaking around the bead. So then we went and bought some of that slime, and we filled that bad boy full of slime, and now it is holding air. Now, yes, it's dry rot, and it's cracked, but this thing's not, it doesn't have to work long. 
it ain't got to work for a long time it's just got to get it down the road for now so today today's mission is once it makes it gets all that done i'm gonna pop the caps off the uh wheel bearings on this trailer we're gonna go ahead and grease these bearings and put this trailer all back together and then i'll probably um, go back there wipe it down one more time we had a lot of rain last night this was emptied out yesterday but uh the mission today is going to be getting the wheels on this trailer getting the, getting the trailer finished i don't i don't think we're going to do any kind of painting for for today uh i mean i guess i could just go buy a can of white spray paint and hit it and maybe we'll do that if we get the wheels on it but the main mission today is get this completed up out of the way uh this jet ski right here we're going to see if we can squeeze it up underneath that to get it out of the yard out of sight out of mind and then we got to get my big jet ski onto this trailer uh and then hopefully get it to the boat shop that's going to be a an act of congress to get that done because that thing is heavy and i'm it's just me and mason so uh that's the plan today but as you can see we're making progress we got a lot cleaned up i mean now we've got a now we got a get her done missile dude we will right there in that space so now we got all of our fasteners in one box so now we don't have to chase those around because that's been a pain sending mason to chase stuff around he disappears for an hour uh, also today we got to get my motorcycle out of the shed it's way to the back we got to get it out of the shed and need to probably get it on my trailer and get it to the harley shop to get them to do me an estimate on it uh, i need to go by there and talk to them first it ain't cool just to drop stuff off and see if they'll do an, an insurance estimate on it to see what it's going to take to fix the damage because it's not nice when you steal people's motorcycles and part them out like you're a chop shop that ain't cool um the clerk of court still hasn't gotten back to me about my body camera request they're supposed to send me a court date and i haven't seen it yet they deny my last one i'm sure because the justice system does not like targeted individuals and does everything they can to terrorize us and not help us uh, i need to get in front of the court i need to get in front of the judge to get that body cam footage since my gopro was hacked uh but yeah this is it we got us a we got us a shop set up we got us a shop set up so uh like, share, and subscribe. God bless.